Hello and welcome to News Click. This program is on three years of the Modi government and its impact on agrarian situation in the country. To discuss the issue, we have with us Viju Krishnan, Joint Secretary of All India Kisan Sabha. Welcome to News Click, Viju. So, how do you assess these three years of the Modi government vis-à-vis -vis its policies regarding agriculture sector and uh, the agrarian situation in the country? Narendra Modi and the BJP had come to power, promising a lot of things for the farmers. In fact, the entire wish list of farmers were there on their manifesto. And the Ache Din that they have promised is still nowhere in sight. And uh, they had also said that they, it would put an they, uh, uh, end to farmers' suicides and they would be making agriculture remunerative by following the uh, Swaminathan Commission recommendation of giving at least 50% more than the cost of production as the minimum support price. None of these have happened. In fact, it has been betrayal of each of the promises that they have made in their electoral speeches as well as in the manifesto. What were the main promises that they had made and they have not fulfilled? One. The other thing is uh, the Rural Employment Guarantee Act. What's the situation of that act and the work provided under that act right now? No, actually, uh, as far as the promises are con uh, concerned, firstly, putting an end to the farmers' suicides. It is, it is continuing unabated. And the maximum suicides are in BJP rural states. Maharashtra last year had around 4,291 or so uh, suicides. If you take the BJP rural states and uh, states ruled by its allies, then it is more than 60% uh, of the suicide, all farm suicides are in these states. This itself involves a lot of fudging of the actual uh, figures and it's not a uh, real picture. The suicides have continued. It is, uh, there is nothing being done to put an end to the suicides. Secondly, on the issue of the prices, the promise of giving at least 50% above cost of production, that is nowhere in sight. They rather, they went to the Supreme Court, filed an affidavit saying that it was impossible to uh, give uh, the prices according to the Swaminathan Commission recommendations. It is more than 10 years after Swaminathan Commission made these recommendations, it is just gathering dust. And as far as the um, NREGA is concerned, in, for, in, for farmers who are facing the worst agrarian crisis, this was providing at least uh, a guarantee of 100 days of work. But under this government, there has been um, drastic cuts in the allocation and the uh, average uh, the, uh, nationwide uh, days of work they are providing is only around 34 days. And huge arrears that are uh, mounting. Wherever we are going into the, uh, in the rural areas, the biggest complaint made by agriculture workers and the poor peasants is that they have worked more, more than, even at times more than six months back, but they are yet to get their wages. If we look at the current crisis going on in the Indian polity, it seems like cow is the only issue for the current regime. How do you look at that? Because the government has been continuously talking about cow slaughter, sale on, uh, ban on sale of cattle. How do you look at Because it will have a deep impact on the agrarian situation and situation of farmers. Ever since the BJP has come to power, we see that they have been bringing the issue of cow slaughter into the agenda. And um, on the pretext of cow slaughter, there have been attacks on farmers, there have been uh, attacks on peop uh, people, uh, cattle breeders, on uh, uh, also traders as well as uh, people who are skinning dead carcasses of uh, cattle. So this has been continuing. They have been trying to uh, communally, uh, communally polarize the society. But the actual intent has been to attack the basic livelihood. It's a direct attack on the livelihood of the peasantry. Today in our country, there are more than, according to the livestock uh, statistics, more than uh, 5 million stray cattle. This has emerged as a major problem in the entire uh, country. They are a reason for uh, crop losses. They are destroying the crops in many parts of India. And also, the, the farmers depend on the sale of the infirm cattle or um, the, uh, whatever cattle that they have to tide over the crisis that they are facing. 
now that is uh, put under question and also in areas where for instance in drought hit regions they, the farmers are finding it difficult even to feed their own families and there is no fodder for the cattle you are putting restrictions on sale of these cattle but there is a bigger agenda i feel the, this government has been going in a big way towards corporatization of agriculture we found fdi in agriculture coming in we found now a model contract farming act they are trying to bring in and now um, narendra modi has just visited europe uh, uh, to germany and there is talk about the european union free trade agreement the eu wants india to open up its market for dairy products this is uh, the poor farmers here are being attacked and their livelihood is being robbed and the cor- the corporates have been profiteering and also com- uh, countries like uh, from the uh, from europe and other places where there's a uh, glut in uh, milk production they are eyeing our markets they are opening our markets for them so we do there's this uh, insurance scheme also the flagship program of the india government that they had promise they'll be giving insurances to the farmers what's the situation of that program right now when the government was discussing about the farm uh, insurance crop insurance scheme they had called us to um, discuss about our opinion on the issue and we had mentioned that what is required is there is need for an insurance from crop loss as well as income loss and the unit should be a village or even if there is a loss on a farm that has to be covered but what we see and uh, when the government came with the pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana it opened the gates for private sector the multinational companies to come in a big way into the insurance uh, uh, agricultural insurance we had pointed out that it will lead to the, uh, these companies raking in profits at the expense of the farmers today if you see the uh, according to a question in the parliament the premium collected by these about 11 companies is close to 21500 crores the last year the claims made by the farmers were something like 4200 crores but what has been disbursed is just 712 crores the huge you can see the uh, huge profits that the insurance come in effect the farmers have not benefited Uh, uh, they are claiming that cover has been uh, wider coverage has happened but that is also there is no benefit you see the uh, drought in uh, tamil nadu farmers are not getting anything even the compensation which farmers earlier used to get that is not reaching them this is the situation so viju this would be my last question aiks had a massive jatha covering the entire country last year november uh you had a set of demands have those demands been met by the government has government responded to that and if no then what's the way ahead the government has just maintained its insensitive stance we have seen how farmers from tamil nadu were here for a long time uh, protesting the government refused to even meet them but we have taken it uh, that we are going to unite the peasantry unite the uh, rural poor and continue with our struggles in much more um, intensify our struggles uh, on uh, the coming 9th there is a meeting with different groups of the um, farming community um, farmers also we have been uh, trying to build other classes the uh, agriculture workers the working class the also dalit and adivasi um, organizations so coming days are going to be days of intense struggles coming to the issue of the um, cattle trade restrictions which are there that is also an uh, attack on the livelihood of the peasantry we are also going to re- take it up uh, building an issue based unity to protect the livelihoods of the peasantry and other dependents on cattle rearing thanks a lot viju for giving us your time and as these things proceed we'll be coming back to you on such issues thanks okay. a lot thank you for watching news click